Well, hello guys, I'm Mr. G with another question from the Medgia diagnostic exam done at the Northern Cape in 2023. Some schools did use the test. Okay, this is question five and is about rate of reaction. The question say note, the graph of question 5.3.2 must be drawn on the graph sheet attached at the end of the question paper. And you do have a, a graph sheet there. Methanol and hydrochloric acid reacts according to the following balanced equation. And there is the balanced equation. Question 5.1. State two factors that can increase the rate of this reaction. So important. We're looking for factors that can increase the rate of this reaction, not on any reaction, only this specific reaction. Okay? So the, remember the six, five um, factors that can actually affect the rate of the reaction, but in this case, what we are going to say. First of all, first of all, we can add a catalyst. Right? If you add the catalyst, the reaction rate increases. Second of all, we can increase the temperature. So we can increase the temperature. And the third one is going to be increase the concentration. The concentration of reactants. Either one because both of them are aqueous solution. So these are the factors that can affect the rate of this reaction that you have there. Now, what about pressure? Well, pressure, you can only use it if there is gases and there are not gases in this reaction. What about surface area? We cannot change the surface area because surface area is only for solid and both of them are aqueous solution. And what about the nature of the reactant? Then you are actually changing the reaction, which is not possible here. So this, guys, is the answer for the rate of this specific reaction. How to increase the rate of this reaction? This is question 5.1. Now, question 5.2 define the term reaction rate. And what we are going to say, let's answer it here on top. This is question 5.2. Okay. Term of uh, the term reaction rate, definition of reaction rate. Change in concentration of reactants or product per unit time. So we can say if we go and write that one in symbol that rate is equal to change in concentration, remember either reactants or product per unit time. That is what we call rate of reaction. Okay, that is the definition of rate of reaction. Question 5.3 The rate of the reaction between methanol and hydrochloric acid is investigated. The concentration of hydrochloric acid was measured at different time intervals. The following results were obtained. And then you have here in one column the time, and on the other column you have the concentration. Okay, question 5.3.1. Calculate the average reaction rate in mole per cubic decimeter per minute during the 15 minutes. So, note that we are working for the first 15 minutes. So, it's not for the whole um, reaction, investigation, whatever you want to call it. Only for the first 15 minutes. Therefore, we're going to be working with the first two rows as they are here all right so we're working with those two and guys reaction rate so um let me just take this one rate change in concentration of reactant of product in this in this case we're working with hydrochloric acid so it's change in concentration divided by change in time so concentration the final concentration is going to be 1.45 all right the initial one is minus, in this case, minus M. Concentration initial is 1,9 divided by the time, which is 15 minus 0. So you will get that the answer is negative 0, 0,03. But remember, the answer on rate cannot be negative. In other words, we are going to give an answer as positive. So the rate of reaction, we get that the rate 
is equal to 0, 0,03 mol per decimeter cubic. Still no space, it's a big right in there per minute. Okay, this is the answer for rate for question um, 5.3.1. Question 5.3.2. Use the data in the table to, to draw a graph of concentration versus time on the attached a graph sheet. No, the graph is not a straight line. Attach this graph sheet to your answer book. Okay, that is just information for what you actually doing such a question in the exam. Now, here we are by the graph, the graph paper, and here we have the table. I just copy the table down so we can do the plot in real fast. I want you know, to, to note something. In this question paper, um, the computer moves, and you see this is a 50 actually, and then this is um, 100, then it's 150 here, there is um, 200, and there is 250 there. So let's see, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and this one will be 300, okay? So that is the number and they say the tiny problem with those conversion there. So guys, in the um, x-axis you have the time they give you already what is going to be in each axis, and this is really easy plotting. The really, really easy plotting. The first one is 100, when it's zero degree, the concentration was 1,9. So if we go here, and we count 1,9. Let's first identify here. You need to know that every two small lines represent one. For instance, here will be 0, 0, uh, pardon, 0, 0,1. There we go. Here will be 0, 0,2. There will be 0, 0,3. There will be 0, 0,4. And then there is 0, 0,5. And the same happened to each of them. I'm not going to do it for everyone. So the first plotted point is going to be 1,9 when it's zero. So 1,9 will be exactly there. That is 1,9 and this one is the first point we have. The second one, when the time is 15, then the concentration is 1,45. Now, in this case of the time, you need to note that each small line will represent five. So this one is five, this one is 10, this one is 15, and so on up until you count a fifth. Each of them represents five, okay? Each of them represents five, and we are going to 15. So 15, let me erase all this one here. So it's going to be five, 10, 15 is right there, okay? Now, when is 15 for the um, X axis, is the third one, you are going to look for the 1,45. So it's 1,4, 1,4 will be here, but this 1,45 will be there. So it's one, two, three, in the third line, there is going to be the second plotted point, okay? The correct way is to do the plotting in this way, so you can see it. You have to use your ruler, so you can see that is the point we are looking for. That one is the 15 one, guys. Okay, the third plotting point, we are by 55, is 55 with the time, so it is 55, is right here. Right there is 55, the second line there. So we are going to extrapolate that second line next to the thick one, this one here, we're looking for. You know, this is quite important because a learners attempt to make mistakes. So we're looking for this second line here. And then for the concentration, we are looking for 1,1. 1, 1. So it's 1,1. 1, 1. Remember, every two represent 1. So it is going to be this line here. This one is the next plotted point. You can see there the three plotted point. We're almost done, guys. Then it's 100. 100 is quite simple, it's a thick line, we don't have to do it. And then 0, 0,85. So we're looking for 0, 0,8, which is, um, you go here, remember, it's 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is somewhere in here, but in this line here with the thick one on this point. So this is the plotted point we are looking for. And the last one is 215. 
215, so it's 205, 10, 15 is the third line. Let's go and extrapolate it up as straight as we can, all the way there we go. And then for the concentration, it's 0, 6. So 0, 6 is going to be right here, as you can see, 0, 6. And then it's going to be this line. If we do that, that is the last um, the last point, the last plotted point. So guys, now all we have to do is to join the uh, lines. But these lines are going to be joined in such a way that you make a curve a continuous curve that is going through all the points that is the graph that you're supposed to get drawn here it is not a big problem it is could be a challenge when you draw it because it must be a curve that you see i went off uh, the way that i draw first it must be a curve there but it's a curve continuous curve that pass through all those points there up until that point that is a graph i hope you understand so we're going now to question 5.3.3 from the graph determine the concentration of hcl at the 40th minute now remember this thick line is the 50 so here is um 45 and here is 40 which is the question so it is the third line from 50 so if you extrapolate is one to three it's this line here there we go so it is going to be somewhere here now this question no necessarily have to be accurate but it depends on the drawing guys but it's approximately if we come here here we got the one comma one which is there we have here at this point the one comma two and here we have the comma um, is not there it is that one there so it will be one comma this one the one comma two so this one will be the one comma two five so i will i will say approximately one comma two five remember it, it depends on how accurate is your curve so it i will say that the concentration will be approximately one comma two five mole per cubic decimeter okay it's a very good question of a graph here now the next question use the collision theory to explain why the reaction rate decreases with time assume that the temperature remains constant and let's answer that question is a 5.3.5 right here because it will be good the first thing that you need to say here is that the concentration of reactants decreases there we go the concentration of reactants decreases that is the very first thing you have to say the second thing is that there will be less particles less per unit volume less particles per unit volume that is the second thing you have to say remember concentration is equal to number of moles divided by a volume so within the same volume then you will have now less number of particles if the concentration is um, smaller okay and now here the final thing you have to say is less effective collision per unit time less effective collision per unit time and that is how to answer question 5.3.5 i hope you can see the wording properly there first the concentration of reactant decreases second less particles per unit volume and third less effective collision per unit time and that is all you have to say for question 5.3.4 last question of this uh, or last sub question of this question calculate the mass of ch3cl in the flask at the 215th minute the volume of the react of the reagent remains 60 a centimeter cubic during the reaction okay this question is a little bit tricky it's a good question to practice stoichiometry now they ask us to calculate the mass of the uh, substance here that is the question okay now to do that they ask us to do it in the 215th minute okay so at 215 minute what we have here at 215 minute we have the concentration of the uh, hydrochloric acid so the first thing we are going to do is to calculate the the number of mole number of mole 
for hydrochloric acid, HCl, a 200, let's write it like that, a concentration of HCl at 250 minutes. Okay? So that is the first thing we are going to do. What formula we are going to use? Concentration is equal to number of mole divided by volume. Okay? And then if you rearrange this one here, you get that the number of mole is equal to concentration multiplied by volume. I'm doing this one because further on we are going to still use this formula, but I'm not going to rearrange it again. So number of mole is equal to concentration at 200, 215 minutes. The concentration there, if you go to the table, it was 0, 0,60. So it's 0, 0,60 multiplied by the volume the volume is the same they say that the volume of the reagents did remain 60 so it didn't change now 60 we have to convert to cubic decimeter so it's going to be 60 divided by 1000 okay and i'm going to write here in case somebody is getting lost this is to convert from centimeter cubic to decimeter cubic you divide by a thousand okay that is what you get there so when you do that you get that the number of mole and i am going to write it here at the bottom this number of mole is going to be equal to so you get that the number of mole is equal to 0, 0,036 um, mole i'm trying to do the calculation i always do the calculation myself so this is the number of mole but note the following guys this is the number of mole that we have at the 250 minutes we don't know how much number of mole was used during the reaction we need the ratio at the end so to do that one we need now the number of mole we had at the beginning so the concentration of hcl at zero minute we are going to calculate what was the initial amount of mole when the reaction started. Remember the volume stay constant. Concentration is equal to number of mole divided by volume. Once more, number of mole is equal to concentration multiplied by volume. Number of mole is equal to concentration at zero minute. Zero minute, you come back to the table at zero minute, the concentration was at 1,9. So that was 1,9 multiplied by the volume which stays the same is 60 divided by 1000. You don't have to write it like this. You can straight write 0, 0,06. And you get that the number of mole here was equal to 0, 0,114 mole. All right. Now, how much mole reacted during this one? Guys, we have to calculate the change. The change in mole from initial to final will give you the number of mole that was actually reacting here. So, the change in mole of hydrochloric acid, H3L. All right, here we are. So, change in mole, that was what actually reacted, is equal to the one we have, which is in this case 0, 0,114 minus 0, 0,036. That will give you how much mole was used up during this chemical reaction. And this will give you 0, 0,078. This is the number of mole that was used during re the reaction. So this reaction uses this number of mole to produce of, of this after, remember we're working with the hydrochloric acid to produce that amount that we are looking for of the CH3Cl. So now that we know how much we used up, we can use the ratio. Ratio of HCl to CH3Cl. And you can see the ratio guys is one is to one. The ratio is 1 is to 1. So the number of mole that you will get of H3Cl is equal to 0, 0,078 mole. I'm going to quickly move that a little bit to the left because of the space there. And then the question is done. Now we're going to use this number of mole 
it's in small, that we can do to calculate the mass of the question that they ask us here. I'm going to do it here on the left because of the space. Number of mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. This is four. This is four CH3 CL. We're working with that one right now here, which is the final question. Okay. So here the number of mole that we get was zero comma. 078 is equal to mass divided by the molar mass of CH3Cl. Now, I assume that you really know how to get that one, guys. And you will get that is equal to 50,5. 50,5. Simple calculation to calculate this 50,5 is coming, this one here, is coming from the molar mass. That is the molar mass for this substance that we have there okay so you can try and calculate it i'm not going because the video is going now quite long so saying this one the final answer mass number of mole mass is going to be equal to three comma nine eight nine nine eight nine gram that is the final answer here and guys, let me tell you, this is a very good stoichiometric question to practice here because you have to do a lot of questions. Also something I didn't see previously in other question paper. But guys, thank you for watching. If you think it helped, thumb up, subscribe for the channel. I'll see you next time. Next time we're going to be working with chemical equilibrium, which is question six. And um, I'll see you next time, Mr. G.